Bang in the pocket. Gonzalez, oh. the extra pointer. Gonzalez, he's missed. You seen that right there? Zane Gonzalez, man. I feel bad for him, but I decided to make this video right here to defend him, but it's not just really to defend him. It's more so to give the guy a break. So the Browns have been struggling for the past years, as long as I can remember, okay? They went 0-16, literally no win in the regular season for the Browns. I don't know if they won in the preseason. I don't watch preseason like that other than Miami. But, you know, watching Zane Gonzalez just keep his head down, nobody really on the team is even coming up to him and encouraging him, saying, look, man, you're going to fall, but it's, you got to get back up. And the only player that did it was, guess what? The kicker from the other team, which, again, it's that kicker connection. But it just sucks to say this now. Browns fan, if you are watching this video, I don't know. You guys got to give him a break. Here, I think he got released by the team. I'm not sure if he did, but if he did, y'all got to give him a break, man. And I, I believe the Browns got a, a kicker from Miami. Keep in mind, Miami, the whole Caleb Sturges, they got rid of him. The Eagles got him. He went to go win the Super Bowl. All that stuff happened, right? But that's besides the point. Look, man, you cannot blame one player for the game. You can say he's the reason why you lost the game, but he's not the one reason. You know, there's reasons why you lose the games. I remember watching a little America's Game episode of Ray Lewis. He said, quote unquote, because I remember this episode, it, it, it's, it's vivid. He said that you cannot blame the kicker, nor this player, nor this. It's a team game. For example, he says, that he missed a tackle, which could have led to a fourth down, but instead he didn't get the tackle, and it led to a first down game winning drive for the Broncos in the AFC game, I don't know, championship. But, you know, I, I want your guys' thoughts on this video. What do, you, what do you feel as if the Browns need to do to get wins, and do you feel as if you should blame the kicker Zane Gonzalez for that one loss right there? Now, yes, again, like I said right now, he could be a reason why you're, you guys are losing. You guys got a new kicker. Let's see if that solves any problem. But at the end of the day, defense has to play. Offense has to play, no matter what. It's not about, oh, he missed the field goal. We lost. Yeah, that's, that's right. You guys could have won that game. But if you really think about it, the Saints, in that same quarter, which was fourth quarter, they still lost the game because it, the defense gave up so many yards. What if defense stopped them? What if the Saints didn't get a field goal and you guys went into overtime? There's so many possibilities, but I feel as if you guys are being real hard on him. You guys got to relax on that. But as always, guys, this is a quick video to keep you guys updated. I'm not, I'm going to keep on pace with YouTube, but it just sucks seeing this, man. Zane Gonzalez, bro, I wish you the best of luck. You never want to see no one fail in their career. Man, this guy got a family to feed. This guy has all this and that. People don't look at it like that. Now, as a Browns fan, I'm not a Browns fan, but as Browns fans, I understand your frustration. Damn, I studied that. I understand your frustration. I'm a Dolphins fan. We're not. We're not too bad. We're doing decent. We're starting off the pace pretty good. But look, Browns fan, you just got to keep your head up. Give Baker Mayfield a chance. But as always, guys, I really want you guys to let me know in the, in the comments down below, feedback, all that, whatever. Um, and yeah, guys. So peace out. Have a great one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Gonzalez.